the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere has been increasing since the uh, Industrial Revolution of the uh, 1800s. Now, that's uh, increased by as much as, say, 40% uh, uh, compared to uh, pre-industrial time. Uh, half of that, the industrial emissions, stays in the atmosphere, causing the global warming. About one quarter of that carbon dioxide is being absorbed by the oceans, and also the remaining one quarter is being absorbed by the land plants. Oceans play an important role for uh, bringing atmospheric CO2 level down by about 25%, alleviating the global warming. Major concern is whether oceans will continue to absorb the CO2 from the atmosphere. The entire oceans contain about 50 times, 50 times more CO2 than the that in the atmosphere. The oceans are coupled with, strongly coupled with the atmosphere, and when the wind blows faster, then the ocean stirs more, and hence it may give more CO2 into the atmosphere, or the ocean is quiet, it may not absorb as fast. So uh, learning the ocean's behavior is a very important part of predicting the future course of the atmospheric CO2. The pre-industrial CO2 concentration was about 280 parts per million and now increased by 40% in the present level of about 390 uh, parts per million. This is, of course, the caused by largely uh, combustion of the fossil fuels and also the clearing of the land. If we could reduce those emissions, that certainly will help to reduce or slow down the accumulation of the CO2. And now, why we are so much concerned is that because the oceans absorb the CO2 from the atmosphere very slowly. And even if we stop this CO2 emission now, it takes probably two, three thousand years to, for an ocean to absorb the, all the uh, man-made damages. So that is the reason why that we better act now 